Hello everyone, welcome back. I took my drone out for a field test. Firstly, I tried it out in the beginner's mode. As you can see here, I've got all the um, propeller protectors on. It has a limited height here of about, I think it's 20 meters, and a range of about 20 or 30 meters. I'm filming it with my GoPro, so the image quality isn't too bad in a well-lit environment. I made the mistake here of not taking off the uh, three-axle or the three-axis gimbal protector here. I'm getting a warning beep. The gimbal motor overload alarm went off. This is my first time flying a drone, so I. You know, can be forgiven for making a simple mistake. I forgot to take the fucking thing off. Take off. The Please check it on the map. Right now it's just um it's worked out its um its return its homing point. It sort of sets out when you first turn it on. If I need it to return, if it goes out of range it will automatically return to that point where it took off from. A uh, good idea to use it in beginner's mode if you haven't flown a drone before such as me. It flies at a uh, very slow speed it just gives you the opportunity to get um, to get the hang of the controller. beeping sound is a battery warning and the factory settings is about 30% so once the battery drops down to 30% charge it will um, sound that alarm bell uh, you can adjust it I think I reset it to about 20% battery charge I might even drop it down to 15 or 10 because it just gets pretty annoying it doesn't take long for the battery to drain down to 30% Now they're claiming about um, 20 minutes maximum flight time. Now the battery charge is affected by the ambient temperature. In very cool environments you're going to get less battery time or less flight time than you would so in um, warmer environments. There's um, an ideal temperature range. I can't recall it off the top of my head but it's in the manual. Here it comes back. It's coming back now. I press the home button and it's uh, returning back to its uh, takeoff point. One thing about landing the drone on grass is it tends to get uh, very dirty. It, um, the blades collect a lot of the um, green pigmentation off the grass onto the blades. So I don't know, I think I might just, um, next time I fly it, I might use a mat. I'll put a mat down on the lawn on the grass and um, help. it'll help to keep it clean and help prevent uh, getting dirt into the uh, inside the drone. I decided that um, I was going to try flying it in P mode, position mode, so I took the protective, the propeller guards off and set it to P mode. break this video up into two parts. The first part's just uh, me filming the drone flying and then uh, later on it's I'll show the actual footage taken by the drone. 
But the guards are a good idea if you're gonna fly the drone uh, inside or if it's your first time flying. In position mode, P mode, it has a maximum height of about 120 meters. Uh, an extended range and it flies a lot quicker than it does in the, the beginner's mode. It's very easy to lose sight of these drones. They're very small and they can cover a, a lot of distance. So you really got to keep an eye on your um, the video footage that's displayed on the phone. That slots in. There it goes. It's got a bit of speed. It can go a lot faster than this. If you set it into sports mode, S mode. I believe it has a top speed of about 70 kilometers per hour, around that. That's not how long the batteries last, I don't know. I haven't tried it in this mode yet, uh, maybe next time. But it's reasonably fast in this um, P mode. And it's very stable. I've heard a few people complain about the noise of this drone. Apparently it's supposed to be um, well, noisier than some of the other drones, such as the Phantom, but I was uh, I was okay with it. I didn't think it was too loud. Another thing I was worried about is uh, the birds. The warranty won't cover bird strikes or being bitten by a dog. And there's plenty of dogs in this park. I was worried about a few of them getting a hold of the drone as well. So it's set to a maximum height of about, you can see here it's very stable. The onboard controller keeps it quite level. Later on I'll show the footage is quite stable. I was very impressed by the, uh, the footage taken by the drone. And I believe you can set it to cinema. Oh, what's it called? Cinematic, uh, a cinematic setting, which uh, makes it even a whole lot smoother than um, what I filmed in. It just smooths out the um, the velocity when it, it, it takes corners slower. It slows down a lot slower. Gives you better quality video using the cinematic setting. There's a dog. I was so worried about this dog grabbing one of these dogs coming over and taking a bite out of the drone. I could just picture the dog running off with the drone in its mouth. Yeah. Okay, now this is um, the drone. The drone camera, it's set to 1080p, 1080p resolution, 
it will shoot in 4K, but I just thought I have to save memory. I use it in 1080p. Extremely stable. The 3 axle gimbal does a good job. I'm just flying it horizontally here. What they call roll, aircraft roll. Obstacle avoidance sensors um, do a good job at uh, keeping it away from ob obstacles, but you need to be careful of it if you're going to fly over water or any kind of transparent medium. Because it can interfere with the, um, the sensors. Now you can control the gimbal such as I'm doing here using the remote control. There's a little a little dial located at the very front of the um of the remote controller. So the gimbal control is limited to um looking up and down. Here I'm sitting, uh, lowering the gimbal. Colours look good. It really captures the vibrant colours of the the bright green glass. Grass. Uh, I think the footage was actually better than the GoPro footage. I I don't know. I, I what do you think? If uh, if you think the um, <laughs> <laughs> the Mavic Air footage is better than the GoPro Hero 7 Black footage. Uh, just let me know. I I, th I believe it is. <sighs> it looks better. Now, the reason I bought the drone yeah, I could get some pretty good clear footage of the grass here yeah, a little out of focus it's favoring the scenery in the background I set the drone to fly um, a preset flight path, which is uh, one of the settings in the drone, but I almost, almost hit a tree here, and luckily I remembered to, um, I remembered the abort button, that's uh, in the shape of a, po oh, it's actually got the pause button symbol on the controller. This one's called Asteroid, it just goes straight up, and I set it to about 40 meters. So you can, um, with these pre-flight modes, you can uh, adjust variables like the, the radius or the height. So this one just spirals out. It does a spiral pattern. It's not a bad little flight path. So it's doing this automatically. I'm not controlling this. I am just keeping an eye on the... Um, seeing what the drone's seeing but you know with the, you just got to be careful you know make sure you adjust the radius such that it's not gonna such that the drone won't hit the trees or any obstacle around where you are <laughs> they um, when you actually use this mode you're not covered under warranty and you've got to acknowledge that in the app Yeah, 
this guy wanted me to chase his dog with my drone. I said, um, no thanks. <laughs> I don't want your I don't want any dog jumping up and grabbing my drone. <laughs> yeah, I'll chase the dog right now. I'll chase the dog in sports mode, I'll let to see him catch it then. Yeah, here I lower the drone to about probably about half a meter off the ground, and it it um, you know it keeps the height well. Yeah, it's about so I'd say about fifty centimeters off the ground right now. And its sensors enable it to maintain that height until you readjust it. Nice clear footage. Wasn't a bad outing. I was quite pleased with its performance and I'll be taking it up to a national park in the northern parts in the tropical rainforest later and get some nice footage. That was the whole idea for buying it, to get some footage of some different biomes. If you liked the video, remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.